Today was all about bringing out friends and family to participate in a lot of ways of opening up the outdoors. We started about 10 years ago, actually June 2014, having our first fundraiser, very similar to today, in order to raise enough funds for the very first outdoor wheelchair and trailer in Dane County, and we started it as a pilot. The service that AEW provides to the community is, is just immense. Um, last year, we, uh, it was the first year we were at the Barron County Fair, and people would come, find out that the chairs were accessible. We only had two at the time. We had a father that uh, his daughter had won grand champion with, a, with her sheep, but he wasn't going to be able to come and, and take part in the event. He was there to be part of his daughter's experience where he wouldn't have been otherwise. I mean, that's, that was just huge. I think that, that touched all of us, yeah, you know, that we were able to be there and provide that service to them. And again, all, all because of accessibility and everything that Monica and Steve are doing with AAW. The genesis of AAW came from the concept of how to increase social connections in the outdoors and have a community resource that's available for people to use because of the increased costs of dealing with uh, physical challenges. These things are a great opportunity for people to get uh, out into the woods, whether it be hunting and just getting out in nature. They're, they're absolutely an amazing machine. Many people understand when women wear high heels and when people wear running shoes or have hiking boots. They don't understand when the cost of that, those shoes are over $500. Yet, this piece of equipment that allows people to be in the outdoors are like our hiking boots. And so those hiking boots are very expensive. And so it's important to understand that that in and of itself is a big limitation for people. And that's why Accessibility Wisconsin came about.